Ahem. Hello. <laughs> I'm Gangi Green. I'm a weasel. I was born in London. Something funny that happened is my parents died <laughs> when I was just a little, little lad. Hysterical. I got raised in <laughs> orphanages until I got kicked out at 16 for starting fires <laughs> and thieving. <laughs> Gangy, go ahead and make a perception check for me. 29. <laughs> uh, was wow. that a nat 20? 29. Uh, yes, but... But what did you roll <laughs> oh, yeah. the dice? But... I clicked the button on the... The dice, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was something plus nine. So 20. That's a nat 20! <laughs> like nat 20. 20. Tw 20 plus so nine 20. is 29. <laughs> what could it have been? I, it must uh, have been in 20. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I, I started out as a uh, young uh, priestling. Uh, that's not the actual word for it, but for, for the, you to understand what I mean, you, you understand what I mean when I say priestling. I was a little fellow. My father was in the ministry, my father before that. And um, they, well, they passed on a, a share of the their flair, but maybe not uh, so much. Uh, I didn't have as much of a helping of 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 the uh, eloquence that uh, they had. The good Lord did not bless me so much with that. But what he did bless me with, I have not found yet, but I, I certainly have it. And I'm able to do it here in Tufting Meadows. After I finished uh, seminary, I um, there were many uh, places that I wanted to go, but uh, none so much that the Lord um, deemed uh, that they would want me. Um, <laughs> but here, here, here is where, when God closes every door but one, you go through the one that is open. And that is what I did. <laughs> Um, I'm an owl, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the murderer, he's come back, he killed my husband, and now he's come back for the rest of my family. Father, please, please go out and, go out and, and find him. Find the man who's done this. Uh, my head spins around. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh. Okay, okay, you just stay here. You stay here. I have the blood of Christ uh, around me at all times. Saw him something. Okay, I'm going out. I'm going out to, f uh, to, to, to investigate. This is Daisy Dumpster. She is originally Daisy Dumpster, uh, daughter of Rusty <laughs> and Tuna Dumpster, <laughs> of the South Carolina Dumpsters. <laughs> well, I do declare, Miss Dumpster, I do declare. I haven't seen anything of the kind. For all I know, we could be hobnobbing with the scum of society. Oh, it's England. Of course it's gonna be scummy. <laughs> well, if you say so, boss. <laughs> You're the brains, after all. Uh, I'm just the, the spreadsheet. <laughs> well, yes, uh, you are, Armin. That's right. <laughs> yes, I, I'm bad. I'm bad. <laughs> 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 That's right. You you are you are a little little uh, little tiny piece of dirt. I'm a <laughs> tiny old piece of dirt, and I'm gonna do what tiny pieces of dirt do, and I'm gonna roll on down the road. And you see that he just turns into a ball and rolls down the train to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so she says, "I all these badges, these Brock hollows, arrogant, selfish. I I'll tell you this." If I could, I would murder everyone here. I would murder all of them. I hate all these people. And and, you know, I am, and I'm not even joking, I'm being serious. Everyone here is terrible, including myself. Um, and you see um, uh, that... Uh, Wait, what? Including myself. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. This food we all is wake up dead tomorrow, we know who to blame. Yeah, you see, she looks up uh, uh, as you come over with the penance, with sort of, uh, with, you know, the communion. Um, uh, Lord Bramble says, my goodness, does this 
I, forgive me if, if this is blasphemous. Does this actually, I don't know, count? Does this, does this count? Oh, of course, God is everywhere and he's in me. You feel him, don't you? You feel him, sure you do. So yes, this, <laughs> this absolutely, absolutely counts. Uh, Grant, 13 is not high enough to notice all the stuff Buckster just noticed, but it is high enough to for you to look out as someone says, uh, three cheers for the absolute class of the hunter of Hampstead Street, Sylvester Cross. And you see, hip, hip, hooray! Uh, as the three cheers go up, uh, you look over across a crowded room and see Daisy Dumpstare. Hey, Reka, is Daisy joining in in the three cheers? Absolutely not. She's got her arms crossed and she's sipping her own cocktail and she doesn't cheer, she downs it. <laughs> uh, Sylvester, Daisy. And then Sylvester downs his cocktail. <laughs> Downing a cocktail too, I'll have you know, there's ice and crap in there. <laughs> <laughs> An the straw, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Are we downing everything? I just start uh, chugging my beers. <laughs> who is the first to break eye contact, if anyone, in this moment? I think I do. I think I break eye contact and leave. It's not me. I, it's not I me. I leave the room, yeah. You leave the room. Oh. <laughs> Sylvester, uh, you look over and see a snarling jackal wearing little pork pie hat stand up. This is the man you've been following. Uh, gets up with a strange glint of gold as he tucks a stolen diadem into his coat pocket and makes his way along the train through the door leading to the next car. Sylvester, what do you do? undetected, as far as I know, I follow him and I make it a point to hide behind a big newspaper so he doesn't see that I am <laughs> Whoa, Detective 201. <laughs> um, the world's greatest detective at it again. Um, <laughs> however, when you hear someone sit at the table across from him, you are a little bit shocked that the voice of that fence does not pick up. Uh, instead, a beautiful and sultry Southern voice fills the air. Reka, uh, Daisy has just found her mark. You smell the diadem in there okay. for sure. Great, um, so, yeah, I pop the lock. Pop the lock, go inside, totally dark in here. Um, Sylvester, uh, would you have the diadem on your person? Would you have left it somewhere in the room? I think I'd be holding it right here in my hand. <laughs> uh, uh, Daisy, oh, so like you he's, walk yes. he's shrouded you in walk, darkness. Shrouded mm -hmm. in darkness. You walk in, close the door. Grant, how do the lights come on in this room? <laughs> they don't. My map strikes. <laughs> yes! yes, bitch! <laughs> Does this belong to you? Why, as a matter of fact, it does. So I'll be taking that now. I yeah. do believe this is the exact carrot of the diadem that they have lost. Why, yes, it is. And I'm Virginia Chase, heiress to the Chase fortune. And you can notice that my slobber's all over this diadem. So if you want to hand it back, I'd be much obliged. Um, uh, I think something has thrown Daisy off her game here. I, you. I I think I'm in the presence of a hottie, and I don't think she knows what to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, so, um, uh, Sylvester, you look up and see a, a smitten uh, raccoon, uh, and I think that Daisy's <laughs> being off balance uh, disguises exactly how criminal she is from you in this moment, because you're seeing genuine fluster. Um, uh, I'm gonna say that Virginia Chase is a real person and, um, <laughs> and uh, Sylvester, uh, about a week and a half ago, uh, Virginia Chase was 
in your office hiring you to do this job. <laughs> you guys stare into each other's eyes, not quite sure where the lie ends and the reality begins. And this hot and heavy tension <laughs> caught in this moment is only interrupted by the noise of blam down the hallway as the door to Daisy's room is kicked oh. in and a gunshot goes off. <gasps> Boom. Both of you are slick enough to know exactly whose room that was. Uh, what do you both do? Mm. I, I, so I, as a bit of a clothes horse, I travel with a giant chest of clothes. Mm -hmm. I, I, I pop it open, pull the ch uh, clothes out and say, get in. <gasps> to me? <laughs> yes, to you. Well, I'm round as a ball, but you, but you know, my 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 flesh is squishy, so you're lucky I can fit in here, your tiny my little suitcase. <laughs> my dear, I wasn't ready to hear about your flesh, but <laughs> please protect oh, yourself. Uh, so you hit that nat one, um, you see the criminals look, um, uh, as they look at you, uh, you, hear, you say like a raccoon on a train and the suitcase next to you just goes, huh, in this offended. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, we are going to, from this moment, we are going to like push forward in time because indeed we are just living in memory right now. The lie fails catastrophically and violence ensues, fighting over the suitcase, which eventually gets popped. You and Daisy end up fleeing. There are more criminals on the train. You end up on the roof of the train, running down the diadem in your hand, fist fighting, bam, 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 knife, sword. You see Daisy not only advising you to give up on her, but a panic as she's asking you to give up on her. I can't. I just can't. Silence in the weight of that statement. Can I say that yeah. on his doorstep where he walks back home, I've left a little deer stalker hat. <laughs> uh, with uh, with a, a note that just says dash D. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> it is 1905. The rain is pouring outside of Loam Hall, and Sylvester Cross downs his cocktail. <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I threw you guys into the fucking deep end. This was the all, this is the all goofball college humor cast season. And we're going, we're going, this is what you do, Brennan. This is what you do. I didn't know Grant was going to go tish on me. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Rekha, where did you, you go? What was have. your program? What huh? was the program that you did, Rekha? You see me. <laughs> At which you school? Me. At tish. Which school? Oh, oh, cool. I, can't, I can't bring a college humor to a Tish fight. <laughs> <laughs> Here's, that's exactly right. The stars control the spirit, which is in turn controlled by ghosts and also auras. <laughs> You're totally right. It's all true. <laughs> what, so you could say anything. You could say truly anything. I don't need it verified. <laughs> if it's fun, I'll buy it. To the seance room. Uh I see you've uh, met my Irish friend. <laughs> yeah, huh? Whoa. <laughs> the name's Buckster Boyd. Ah, from Texas. Indeed. I liked it better when it was Mexico. So they say, hard work out there with the rain. I imagine that the garden will be awfully muddy, Mr. Green. <laughs> Just a shrug. <laughs> oh, well, Mr. Green, you are, as they say, cold as the grave and twice as upsetting. <laughs> All right. Um, you see the... <laughs> we're, we're really off to a great start, aren't we? Uh... 
So I was wondering, it seems like maybe you are never too far from the trash. So um, what's going on right now? What's the angle? What are you doing? I'm sorry, What kind of Lars. mess are you here to make? What kind of what? What kind of mess are you here to make, you messy, messy girl? Oh. And, uh, and Sylvester's your best friend. Sylvester is my brother, he's my father, he's my best friend, my roommate. He's kind of like my co-life partner. We co-parents. We what? are partners in a business. Yeah. Sylvester is everything to me. Oh, okay. So if he's your best friend, then what the hell are you doing talking to me? The person that probably ruined his life. Mm. I couldn't have said it better myself. So he, um, he leaves and steals some uh, fancy utensils on the way out. <laughs> uh, as you are grabbing a bunch, um, you see can feel suddenly a shape beside you, and Mrs. Molesley is next to you, oh. grabbing silverware and putting it into your pockets, like helping you. Aww. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> what a cutie. You see, I see you wearing the same coat every day, but out in the countryside, a nice sweater could be good. I, I haven't knitted a sweater in quite some time, but I would be happy to knit you one, my friend. <laughs> And um, I think Gengi wants to be mean, but this person is so incredibly nice that he, even <laughs> Gengi is like, all right, thank you. Oh! Um, she, she, she pats you and says, I have been here at Lome Hall longer than any other beast, and that's a fact. I was the nanny when I was a young maid to the little baby Brock Hollow, Lord William, and I know this place like the back of my hand, I do, and I can tell you this, there's a lot of servants here who like to look down their noses at people, even though they's not highborn like anybody else who's serving here. So if any of the boys who work here at Lone Hall give you trouble, you just send them my way. Um, and then Gengi um, looks around to make sure he's not being watched and pulls a little dandelion oh. out of his coat <laughs> and gives it. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you pull a little dandelion out, um, and she looks at it and has to hold it like right up here to be able to see it, oh! and goes like, "Oh, it's a flower!" <laughs> a, a young gentleman, like you're like fifty five. She's like, "A young gentleman <laughs> hasn't thought to give me a flower in quite some time. I shall treasure this, Mister Green. I'm blushing." And he's outside, crash. Lightning, Sylvester. You hear Lucretia saying, if anyone sees a ghost, you have to tell me. Standing on the dock, pale white, taking his hood off, two long ears stretch, <gasps> and Fletcher Cottonbottom looks up at you from the dock in that one flash, <laughs> dark again, and as the lightning goes off, a second later, <laughs> There is no one. Crash. Lightning strikes the tower at the top of the hill. Loam hall. You hear a scream. Something drops. A moment of silence. You hear footsteps. A door is slammed open and you hear, my God! I'm gonna need everybody here to roll initiative. Hell oh, yeah. oh yeah. no! Oh, All right. However, let me ask Daisy a question: Are doors only ever in one room? No. Uh, by definition, doors are often in two. Um, exactly. Cool. So, uh, uh, <laughs> it was all worth it for that face on Grant. Uh, every part of what I just said. <laughs> I, like it. I liked it. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh Wait my a minute. God, he's right. Doors he's are right. always in two oh, rooms. God. Um, uh, um, uh, you hear gasps and whisper. Uh, people uh, are. Uh, you hear Doctor Magpie running over to the just fainted Lady Lucretia. All eyes are on Sylvester right now, and this has all happened sort of in a moment. Um, as you crouch down to listen, uh, your uh, hand grazes your ankle. Your ankle knife is missing. No. <gasps> oh. Well, this just went from bad to bad, bad, bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, he is holding a hunting knife with a prairie pronghorn bone handle. A mm. pronghorn is uh, a species you're familiar with. Uh, <laughs> not a lot of pronghorns running around in the English countryside out here. Gosh, but there are a lot in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is now bad, 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 bad. <laughs> Oh, I How? guess it's time for a bit of a cross-examination, as it were. Hmm. My you know, your real name is you. Dumpster. <laughs> oh, you petty little bitch! I throw a book at him. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, um, incredible. You gotta go to that statue. <laughs> we do indeed. However, that room will be watched very closely, as it's the site of the murder. So we have to go in there, but everyone act casual. Well, you know, <laughs> Sylvester. Oh, Let's see what happens. On, baby. All right, Let's everyone go. act casual. <laughs> <laughs> you open the door, and it's like full breakfast club tableau of like someone like sideways <laughs> on the table, like everyone just super fucking casual as the door. Kurt, all of you hear the footsteps lead away and um, uh, can, and you, the only thing you hear is a marching back and forth of the Lady Lucretia, just taking like fo a four pace march outside of the door, being like, I, Use my presence and the strength of my aura to abjure this hall. Let none interfere with what transpires in the porous membrane between this realm and the great beyond past. Let none interfere with the spiritual work of these brave She's going souls. Back and... Just like like how like Buckingham Palace guards would like patrol just like outside the door. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute. I think someone's making her actually pace I on know. roll 20. It's that's, very cute. God, that's <laughs> fucking perfect. Um, <laughs> um ex excuse me, maid. Um, forgive me. I, I this must be very stressful. I know that you have a, a mess to clean up and your boss basically just fell dead tonight. Um, um you see that this little mouse maid turns around. She's got an eye patch and like whips around and listens and says, "Why? What is this? What is this? You want? Everything is in a proper place." Oh, I understand. I understand. Yes, I agree. Everything in its proper place. Order is next to godliness. Is next to cleanliness. Um, what room is the natural home for this uh, statue that I'm looking for? Library. <laughs> Your accent is simply beautiful. <laughs> Curofi, you're cheeky. <laughs> cheek? I am uh, known for a bit of cheek, yes. <laughs> uh, how much cheek would you like? Oh. <laughs> From the looks of things, it looks like you have quite a bit to offer. Ooh. <laughs> I'll show you my whole butt. <laughs> in in what has to be the least sexual series of movements you've ever seen, uh, Rosalind turns around, bends over, her entire maid outfit falls in like a like it's so long, but she bends she bends over the waist she bends over the waist so hard that her torso and head are now upside down, so that she would be like looking through her ankles, but because of the way her dress is. It falls down around her head, so she is now completely curtained off from like the dresses fall. Do you see the roll twenty screen, by the way? It's just yeah. Kudos to Carlos. 
Mm -hmm. Sam, I have texted this idea to you and I know it's stupid. If ghosts are real and these holes are tiny, can I summon a ghost to go through the hole for me <laughs> to, to find what I'm looking for? Yeah, can Rake a roll to see if ghosts are real? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Watch you nad 20 on this. Uh, <laughs> for all intents and purposes, you're alone. When you're alone, you shine, girl. You shine. You shine like a bright diamond in daddy's eye. Nat 20! Oh, yes! <laughs> show it, show it, show it! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Can you see? Oh no, your shit's gonna be all wow, fucked up now. Wow, 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 <laughs> wow, it is. You can see it all is. my foil too. Hold on, it went Ghosts away. Are yeah, it's real. Be all fucked up. Worth it. It's gonna be totally all worth up. it. Sorry, Shawbuck. <laughs> <laughs> you have a full 30 seconds before Brendan recovers from his stunned silence. <laughs> We're gonna need another hour. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> we broke Brendan. We broke Brendan. <laughs> Hey, Brennan. Eat hey, Brennan, uh, ghosts are real. Hey. Take that. Hey, bitch. Hey, Sorry bitch. Sorry about Guess it. Guess what? Because I thought it, it's real. Constance, <laughs> or what's her, what's her Lucretia? name? Lucretia? Uh, Lucretia was right this whole oh, time. Lucretia She's is going right. to shit herself I'm, when she comes back in here. <laughs> Everything is real. I am the positively, that's what he proves it. I am positively oh, shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> I am ruined. I am ruined. <laughs> No Nat 20 has ever been more untimely. This is the end of my life. I yeah. don't yeah. know. Well, that's sad. Listen, uh, 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 Hemingway, yeah. let's yeah. hear a little uh, click back on those keys while you fix them. Huh? Let's go. Just to, just to be clear, Reka said, can I have a ghost go through the eye hole into this secret room and check shit out for me? And then she critted on it. I just, <laughs> I I just, I just want to be clear, like how much all of us appreciate the world building you do, bitch. Like, yeah. it's <laughs> Bitch, yeah. bitch, we super, super appreciate you, bitch. We love you, bitch. We really do. Um, something I did say off camera that I do want to just say again is I really appreciate, bitch, that like yesterday we diarrheaed all over the place and you had to spend a whole hour this morning cleaning it up and I did yeah. just plop a big one right into your mouth. <laughs> the the whole thing of this genre is that there's a there are detectives who, who say the supernatural isn't real and, uh, and I can prove it with science. Yes. Yes. Um, so anyway, uh, ghost. Listen, to, let me say to just retrieve these documents. <sighs> Things in the room begin to glow with a strange and unnatural light, as the center of the crystal ball oh glows white. <laughs> 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 You look into the ball, Vicar. You are seeing the same thing. This is not a. I am seeing it. Okay. Can are I? Can I open my eyes now? Can I open my eyes now? Can I look? <laughs> you are. Uh, I hope can you I look, Daisy? Can up. I look? Vicar, I'm worried you'll fuck this up. Close. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. You look in and you see a shape. You see sickly and curled up, but now unfurling, the pale, translucent shape of a mouse wearing rags, who looks up. Someone there. Yes, I'm... I'm trapped. I'm trapped somewhere dark. But I see a light. Tell Catherine. Tell Catherine I'm here. Oh my god! Are you Connor McCavage? You have oh. spoken my name. Oh. Uh, what does Daisy do in this moment? What do I do? Well, um, you, you summoned him to go look in a fucking office, so <laughs> Okay, Connor, Connor, I, 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 I super want to hear about what's going on with you and, and where you're trapped and everything. Do you mind just taking a little peek in that office? I'm looking for a contract. <laughs> and you are small like a mouse and you are a ghost, and I think that's doubly helpful to me. I'm so sorry, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. 
okay. I can't move. It's, it's okay. I can't. Uh, you see, you see, no. there's, there's great danger. There's okay. great danger. Wait, but it sounds like you're about to leave. Please don't leave. My second question is, were you murdered? Were you murdered or was it an industry accident? This is, you must have, Squire Patrick, there's someone behind. And Wait, no, oh, what? He, what? <laughs> no, uh, what's, oh, fuck, uh, what's. Sylvester, I now know that God is real. You see the whole crowd goes, you now you know? <laughs> So you were up in the air on that. <laughs> you baptized my children. I have, but I, I, I have empirical evidence. Well, evidence. I didn't see the ghost. Daisy saw ghost. the ghost. She made me turn around. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait. Uh, no, but the constables are No, on, on. interesting, yes. Uh, uh, um, gosh, is anyone here a constable? No. You see that one. Uh, you see that one of the mouse maids says, "I might be." Um, <laughs> and... oh, that's adorable. <laughs> and then you see someone whispers in her ear and quickly tells her what a constable is, and she says, "I'm not." <laughs> that's uh, cute, Mr. Guilfoyle. I, I can't help but notice the constabulary has yet to arrive. Pray, when did you call them? <gasps> Called them immediately after we discovered. Immediately once you told me that I should, uh, Mr. My Fox. word! Uh, uh, God, I, I'm a bit of a, a a bit of a creature of the night. I don't uh, I don't ever carry a watch. Would anyone tell me how long has it been since Old Guilfoyle gave the constabulary a ring? Um. Uh. Go ahead and give me an insight check, Grant. I also want to say Daisy gasps to herself because I think she's the one that originally pointed out that the police had not come yet, and so I think yeah. she's uber pissed at Sylvester. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I believe I'll take the credit for the work of a woman. Uh, <laughs> a, 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 I rolled a... You see that everyone kind of nods and smiles and Jeremy says, I, to... I whisper uh, to Gangy and Lars at my side, you gotta know when to hold them. You gotta know when to fold them. <laughs> <laughs> um, you Kenny see, Rogers. Uh, Jeremy... <laughs> Here we go. And then Here Grant and I text go. each other. <laughs> Foul mouth text. It's just nasty. <laughs> Fucking hate you. The whole time? 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 The whole time. Okay. Hello! Uh, Allie. Uh, 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 so. <gasps> Uh, so. Oh God! Dang it! <laughs> dang it, darn it! You shouldn't. You shouldn't have looked at me. But you can't keep your eyes away, can you? God, dang it! <laughs> oh dear, I'm so sorry. Very brave of you to jump in there with your shovel, Mr. Green. I, I, I don't mean to generalize, but I know you London lads are used to a scrap when it comes to it. I shouldn't imagine that I would like to face down Mr. Gangy Green with his trusty shovel in hand. Um, and Gangy blushes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, uh, she just, she says, um, Mr. Reed, is there is there anyone that I can alert or or give word to that um, that you've been injured? I, I know that you live on the grounds, but is there any family nearby that I could alert so that they might come and attend to you or make sure that you're all right? I ain't got no family. You're my family. <laughs> Big, big old tears. Aww. Big old tears bubble at the edges of her eyes. Um, uh, and she pats you on the shoulder and she says, quite right, Mr. Green, quite right. You're going, you're going to be right as rain, my good friend. Um, uh, and, um, ooh, I made myself cry a little bit. Um, uh, <laughs> There's an elevator. Oh, I wonder. It is not a level below the one that I think is a basement. Some place where all that power is getting generated. Oh, Sylvester. What? Door. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, Sylvester. 
Oh, I'm not <laughs> shit. You're not shit. You're not shit. You're not shit. Oh, <laughs> fuck off. off. Fucking oh, IRA, incredible. motherfucker, over here. <laughs> what uh, is, it? is the IRA a thing? <laughs> uh, gangy, uh, real quick, um, you turn to Mrs. Molesley. What do you say to Mrs. Molesley? She sort of pats you. Mm. Hello, mother. Oh. Um, <laughs> can you talk to me a little bit about the um? You, know, you lived here for a long time. Um, oh, that's that, right. Maybe you could talk to me a little bit about um, just the grounds. You know, the grounds. There anything? Yes. Is there anything below the first level? Oh, oh, Mr. Green. Well. If you're being a little cheeky, is that is that why you were snooping around the elevator, my my dear boy? Well, it's very cheeky, but it shows initiative, which we need if we're going to catch this murderer who tried to frame me. That's an awfully rude thing to do. It's so rude. Very very rude. Well, it's so I should rude. Like I should like to to uh, give this uh, murderer who tried to frame me and destroy my life and reputation. I should like to give them a stern talking to. Should I I'm ever gonna come across them? I'm going to kick his ass. I'm going to kill You're... him when I oh, find Mr. him. Oh, Mister Green. No. Oh, my yeah. sweet boy. No, no, no. I'm no, going to kill mustn't. him. Stab him a lot. Oh, I'm gonna that's bleed very out. kind, but please don't no, put yourself I've out on my... No, I've already decided. I ain't gonna <laughs> let this go. I'm gonna, for sure, gonna kill him. <laughs> well, <laughs> you are you are a peach, Mr. Green, <laughs> and I suppose if you if you insist, if you insist, I do, to, I do. To, well, that's all that. Eh? Oh dear, what what a oh. darling boy. Um, and you see, um, I I'd better go and look in after the maids, and you see that she gives you a sweet little kiss on the head um, and uh, and walks out of here. Goes, I won't have it, you blathering owl. You know, I stood up for you. I told father he needed to invest in those protections in the mill, put those things in place, and by God, he did. I saw to it. I knew the press would have its day. They hate anyone like us that lives off of the work of other people, that owns land. Well, you had your little field day, didn't you, father? Stick your beak in our business again, and I'll have it off your face. Uh, and she grabs a bunch of blankets and walks back downstairs. Well, mm. yeah, definitely not going to heaven, I'd uh -oh. say. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps, perhaps spend an eternity in purgatory at best. <laughs> That's a four. Uh, man, you got books in your ass crack. You got books <laughs> under your, and you, they're getting, they are getting wet and they just, it's <laughs> not that you're that, it's not that you're that sweaty. It's just that you, you're so much warmer because you basically are wearing a layer of books. Um, <sighs> Uh, and it's not comfortable and you're sitting and one of the, these are, these are not super hard cover, but you're, oh, you are man. like, I wish I had thought to put a paperback in my ass crack rather than one of the hard, hard cover back. ones. back, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had done it binding side in rather than page side <gasps> in so it's not like <laughs> cutting up my whole. <laughs> at all, you know, soggy. Good old soggy book, yeah. 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 Um, okay, so I got nothing from that. Got it. Uh... Ms. Crumb is just very wrong about what sexual <laughs> things are and aren't. Um, yes. So just flops over, dress comes down, shows her whole butt, um, and you see that uh, Lady Brock Hollow says, Ms. Crumb, you're fired. Um, <laughs> oh! On a net. 20? She says she's fired. She's not entranced for a second. Uh, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Crumb uh, stands up from saying that and says, if I'm fired, then it's allowed to steal and runs out of the room. And Lady Brockhouse says, it's not ever, it's not, that's not based on your employment here. And But you can just swing the, the trick portrait out with its fake eye holes. Uh, and you see three small electrical breakers. Uh, electrical switches on the wall. Um, and then you see one last one. This one last one runs off with cables running in all directions, 
one of them running to the wall, going into the bathroom again, one foot to your left by the bathroom mirror above the sink. That one, oh baby, you turn it. No, no, I was gonna open the mirror. Is the mirror like a medicine cabinet or just a mirror? It's not a medicine cabinet, but it is as thick and bulky as one. Yeah, I turn that, do I turn that breaker on everyone? What do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah turn it. Yeah. You, tr- you turn it on. <sighs> you see in the mirror up the hillside and you see the front of Loam Hall. Grant, I need you to roll a perception check with advantage for me as you stand in the window, uh, by the window of Mrs. Mosley's room. What the fuck? I don't is happening? understand. By the what window the of Mr. Okay. What the fuck is happening? Dirty 20. Um, you throw the breaker. Uh, Reka, the mirror goes from being reflective to being partially reflective, but mostly transparent. And you can see the front of Loam Hall rain coming down, um, looking up the hillside. Grant, you look out. Standing on the dock, you see the ghost of Daisy Dumpster. Oh! Wait, (laughs) hold on. He was in the house! There's there's some sort of illusion, gang. Some sort Brennan, of how did you do this? How did you do that? Wait, that explain what just happened. No, but if that we saw Cotton no Bottom, that means Cotton Bottom was in the bathroom, meaning Cotton that Bottom has been in the house exactly for a you. long time. So cotton his bottom, bottom was wasn't so cottony standing. at that point. Yes, where you are. Okay, or so, or, is he yeah, alive? Yeah, what about it? Here, yeah. so he's a thing. He's and everybody see- in this goddamn house that we think is dead is not dead, or we think that's their body, that's not their body. And I'm sick of it. (laughs) Katie, are you praying? (laughs) Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. God is not real? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Vicar Ian runs through the house. (laughs) Wait, I changed my mind again. Can I tell a, a, a short story? No. Okay. What? <laughs> I'm all the way. It's it's just the far the far door. Yeah. Yeah. See how high you're older. You can see if you can join that lady to poop. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. You see, Mrs. McCabe is just in there. Is in there cleaning up. And you see that she's she is uh taking a full bath. Um. Uh. She's shit in the tub. Um. But the. Um, oh no. She's a widow. Honey, you're she's a widow. To go. <laughs> Carlos, the Car- the, Carlos is the under-celebrated comedian of this entire oh, yeah. campaign. Oh, Light yeah. speed moved Mrs. McCabbage into the tub when I said she shit in the tub. So <laughs> All these little things happening in Roll20 that are so funny. She's so funny, in the funny. tub right now. Incredible, Carlos. Uh, Mrs. McCabbage, what is it? I am, she goes to read the letter. I am moving in darkness. I am right behind you, always. I am coming for you. You should never have thought to cross me. All those who have have paid the final price. The good Sir Ignatius paid the price, and all the rest that followed. I am hungry. The hunter catches his prey, and I shall send you and all of your ill-begotten family to the darkest circle of hell. The powers of the grave are mine and mine alone to command, and the curse is mine to wield. Signed, Sylvester Cross. <gasps> you hear a scream from deep within the mansion. I'm going to need everybody here to roll initiative. Jesus wow. Christ. He's Grant. bad. Grant. Sylvester Cross, though. What the fuck? I thought you might be bad. We'll see. No. Okay. Initially. No way. It's um, not possible, Grant. It's not possible. Look at his dumbass smile. <laughs> oh, that's just Grant. <laughs> You've been her fucking... You've been... Oh, my God. I can't believe I got murder mystery. I can't believe I got murder mystery. I can't believe I got murder mystery twice. I did this twice. exact thing. Twice, Sam. I've been murder mystery twice, so... By the same people. <laughs> Um, inc- uh, incredible, incredible. Um, 
Oh, uh, shit. Ba -ba -ba. Um, you son of a bitch. This is why you were slow to text me back, piece of shit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yes, whatever. to the right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you guys, towards the... you guys head the fuck out of there. Um, gangy, that's gonna be you. I would like to leave. <laughs> just <Hell> permanently. Yeah. <laughs> um, where would I? I can literally just go home. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not go home. But I'm saying, uh, Gangy can do whatever the fuck he wants to do. I don't want to. I don't want to make it like you all have to go to the scream if you want, because I know that some of you were like arrested, and there had been a conversation you guys had, like, "Hey, Gangy yes. is a fucking ninja. If we want to have someone <laughs> out and about who's just sort of like going around and doing shit, like, I guess I'll get my key. I'll get that little key back. Hell yes. Ooh. Go ahead. Go ahead, Gangy, and give me a stealth check if you'd be so kind. Oh my lord! What? An, uh, a natural 20 plus seven, 27. Oh. Um, you look out, you have this bandage around you, you hear a scream, um, you think about these terrible fucking badgers and sweet Mrs. Molesley, who you also found earlier tonight, had been let go. Uh, yeah, remember, I um, I think, Gangy, you've, you've about, ha it's time to fucking get to work. Uh, shoulder goes over you. Uh, you guys see, uh, uh, Gangy steps out into the hall, uh, uh, running, hits the other wall, runs up the wall into the shadows, <laughs> and is gone. Just fucking gone. <laughs> uh, you are a tall fellow, but damn are you lanky. Um, as I've said before, this place has a lot of ventilation shafts. And the cool thing uh, about uh, Gang and Green is uh, as you run up the wall, you scurry literally along the ceiling, like in that <laughs> snaky way, the way you went over the cemetery wall before, uh, elbow, bam, hits a grate on one of the air vents. You uh, sneak in, and the last thing you do as you are slithering in is collapse your top hat, which accordions, into your coat and screw the shovel head and the shovel back off your shovel uh, so that you can get it around corners. There are not just animals in the walls, but a specific animal. Gangy Green, you are in <laughs> the walls, my friend. <laughs> On the back wall of the billiards, uh, billiards wing. You see that there's obvious signs of struggle. The the billiards table is like cracked. There's like oh, there's like uh, 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 blood scattered all around, uh, and on the back wall is a mess, written in scrawled writing in the billiards room. Uh, are the words, um, "I wield the curse. I hold." the soul. I am the hunter. And you see a long canine head drawn in blood with sharp teeth. Do I notice God him casting you, something on me? You can choose to fail this saving throw if you would like, Lars. Yeah. Awesome. I know you're lying, you fuck. <laughs> what, what, the, what the heck? What, lying about what? Why would I lie about whether or not I got hit by a shovel? Um, I'm going to kill you. Okay, ah! end of my turn. And you the see, end of my turn. At the end of your turn, you say, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, you feel a, a movement behind you, Lars, as you say that. And the lady, Eugenia Bristlebrush says, and I'm going to kill you too, you fuck. <laughs> you nasty fuck. I did this. Uh, and points up to the blood on the wall. Um, <laughs> Welcome to Europe. This is how we all talk. Mystery. The whole <laughs> thing is clearly miserable. It's been from the beginning. This is all a waste of time. Uh, Why did she come to this little, party? You little boar, I just met you and I hate you. I hate you so much. <gasps> oh, oh. Zedet, he's disappeared himself. No. <laughs> no? Oh, okay. Well, fuck you, Okay, Lars. yeah. So I you guess you're so many arguments. You can fuck right off. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I want it this I'm sorry. To Somebody be... explain this to me. Listen, uh, I couldn't, I can't just say, I'm trying to, you know, get the, Get the drama up, you know, have a little fun. <laughs> hey, Gangi. Oh hey, Gangi. Yeah? Not the time to have fun, it's honey. Time, it's always time. I thought I was going to be going on vacation, you know, <laughs> and then I've got this. So it's like a little vacation for me. Um, 
Anyway, uh, should I just say it? Um, yeah! Yeah! Please, please do. Please, please. please do. All right. Angrily, please. Okay, so... It's like the mystery version of tantric sex. <laughs> <laughs> Gengi, you're edging all of us. <laughs> Um, anyway, yes. We so, are clutching the tablecloth behind me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Um, Through the like vents here. Me next! <laughs> so you guys know uh, uh, that time is of the essence. Um, uh, Sam, time is of the essence. You hear the clocks chime as this lightning strikes outside. Um, can you make can you make an insight check for me really quickly? <sighs> Brennan, we never talk about this show's like this show and the issue of blood pressure. Uh, Sam, you're looking at the watch your father gave you. You're being conned and you don't like it. Time is money. Here's both. You're looking at the face of the watch. When you first stepped into the elevator to turn the key, do you remember that I asked you to make a check? Do you remember what that check was? When I first stepped into the elevator to make a key. To put the key into the to hole. Put the, to put the key in the hole. Oh, that was forever ago. Forever ago. I think you asked me, did you ask me to make a perception check? I asked you to make a sleight of hand sleight check. Sleight of hand check. Uh, Slate of hand. Uh, and Time. and you rolled a 13. Um, uh, One AM. Buxt Buxter is, is trapped in this moment. You're looking at the face of your watch and you're thinking about uh, time and, and uh, Mrs. Molesley saying 3 AM. Um, or she didn't say 3 AM, she just, she just said, uh, she said Sleep. it only goes down to the cellar at three o'clock. Um, mm -hmm. And you're thinking about that sleight of hand check that that you're thinking about. There's something about when you put the key in um, uh, and turned it from off to on. There was something <gasps> weird. Oh it's the position, it's the position that I have to turn it. Sylvester, you hear the strange moaning going on <laughs> in the house, um, and you feel a, a, a ten. <laughs> Attention, you're used to moaning in the house. Um, uh, and it's uh, very strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not um, in your room, not with a partner. You're just used to just having roommates the, that are no, fucking. No, no, I'm, I'm used to making that strange moan. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Sylvester, you feel tension mounting. Um, uh, and you that can- That happens when I make the strange moan. Okay, you lose your turn. Um, okay, the, cool. uh, <laughs> <that's fine. laughs> You're in the oubliette. Um, I, roll the, I roll the four for the charisma. Four. Okay, oh, I, so you make us, you make a sad little joke to yourself in your jail cell, and it <laughs> echoes around in the wet room, and you feel very sad. Yeah. Um, Hello. <laughs> that's, that's the most satisfied I've ever been. That's incredible. <laughs> um, Did the police hear my jokes? I hope so. Yeah, they thought they sucked, and they both they laughed at you. Because strange yeah. can mean many things. Do we? Did we all? They. Um. I we think. Um, officer. Buxter, I'm gonna leave you in a second. <laughs> but before I do, I want you to know that you can do whatever you put your mind to. Uh, and in Christ. Uh, wait. How does the first go? <laughs> no, we no. Can do oh all no! Oh no! <laughs> no, 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 no! I want to. We can do I all can do things. things through Christ who strengthens me. We can do all things through Christ. Lars says from beyond. Me. <laughs> Father, I want you to know. I think you're terrible at this, and I think religion is a hoax, just as bad as any I've ever committed. But in this moment, I really want to believe you. That's what I mean. All right, peace out. I'll see you in a minute. Peace out. Peace out. Peace, out. <laughs> peace, peace be with you. I'm switching uh, it up. God I'm is cool. real. What is blessed for me? Cool. What is huh? blessed The valet knew about it and the hawk had no idea. Yeah. And why his son, Jeremy, had, didn't know for sure if he was dead or alive. Jeremy yeah. was in on the plan to switch and he didn't know whether or not to yeah. switch. Yeah. <gasps> Yeah. Wait, so then who's on whose side and who's working yeah. for who? We don't know. 
I, I think. So, well, firstly, <clears throat> a little basic uh, lesson in economics, you know, uh, profits and losses. Uh, money comes in, money goes out. We all understand this, right? We don't need business degrees to be able to wrap our heads around this concept. Now, I also have a business degree. <laughs> Is that you, do, you do? <laughs> yeah. What? You, you were in the military and you. Mars. And I'm I 18. misjudged you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, He's been in disguise the whole time. That's what someone the at the party is Fletcher. Who's 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 who? Who <laughs> can <laughs> <have>? what? <laughs> Are you so is disguised indeed. as Fletcher? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I yes. would kill you. Uh, uh, has there been anybody that's been like Matryoshka doll wrapped up in like a little scarf? Oh, this fucking oh. sheep that came out of nowhere oh, and is drunk all the brush. time. Bristlebrush? Mrs. Bristlebrush who keeps saying I'm going to kill all of you. No. Uh, no. No, you, no way. Miss, you hear behind you. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, and we just uh, cut an episode. <laughs> um, well, well, I, the, the, the way you could hide yourself a very good disguise. Ah, get her out of here. <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, Carlos. Oh. I've done an insight check. Nat 20, baby. Oh, wow. my fucking God. Uh, the wow. world's greatest Wait. detective. Does anyone want someone to go to the boathouse and try to knock that guard out and take over that post? See what's in well, there? The maybe you communicate should... with you in the tower? Should someone beefy, maybe strong, yeah, right. yeah. huge, maybe yeah. do that? Uh, yeah. I'm doing uh, that. Cool. Lars, <laughs> see if I can charge uh, past him and say in the loudest voice I possibly can. Ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise, follow me into the drawing room for I have solved this mystery. <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead, give me an opposed athletics check. I'm gonna I'm just to push past Ambrose Harding. Um, uh, he totally. rolled off. All you have to do is uh, beat a six on an athletics check. Ooh. That's a 19. How about Yay! that? Wow. Um, uh, hey. fucking, it's like Super Mario Brothers. This turtle goes scooting down the hallway. <laughs> this is <a> shell. <laughs> he, whoo, he spins off down the hall. Oh, as you rush Carlos. Out, um, he, <laughs> um, the real killer is here in this manner. Police. In the interest of public safety, I ask for you to seize at once that red herring. <gasps> All heads <gasps> turn to the red herring in the room. Oh. And you see the red herring goes, the red herring has like a thing Fuck in their hand and goes. you, Sam, that's so good. It's so funny. <laughs> the red herring, the red herring is going like. <sighs> Noodles again! <laughs> um, uh, and you see both of these constables, who you, you understand are doing this because they actually, they, you, uh, uh, you see the both constables go, right, get him, and leap, and just club the shit out of this red <laughs> hair. <laughs> Kicking the shit out of it. He goes, I am an innocent fish. This keeps happening. I should never come to this dinner party. <laughs> you pull your head up over the windowsill just as the door opens to make eye contact with your beloved Daisy Dumpstair. And uh, you arrive perfectly at the same moment. Of course. Uh, uh, yeah, a little help. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, Connor McCabbage turns up to look at both of you. Says, you're the woman that I spoke to in the mirror. Yes. I, I, I'm, I've been trapped. Uh, he looks up uh, at Daisy and Sylvester both, and uh, tears form in his eyes, weak though they are and as dehydrated as he is, and he goes, I can't believe you found me. Thank you. Mr. And McCabbage, you're, you're, abso you're absolutely quite welcome. I'll tell you two things. First, 
I couldn't solve your murder, and so I'm pretty thrilled to see you alive. <laughs> <laughs> Still undefeated, remain the best in the world. <laughs> Doing great. Uh, the door doesn't appear to, to open. Um, you hear a voice inside as you say that going, oh, oh is it, are, you, are you trying to come inside? Who the fuck, whose voice is that? That sounds like Lucretia. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does sound like Lucretia. Um, I say, yeah, it's it's uh, me. I'm a ghost. Please let me in. I have so many answers for you. Holy shit! I'm right there! <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> you see, I'm not even gonna make you roll deception. It is the perfect lie for that moment. <laughs> Auto success for Allie Beardsley in this moment. And uh, I, it's perfect it's that Lars would see it. A ghost yeah. who can't go through the wall. Hello. A ghost. Ghost. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a, a corporeal ghost. ghost. I completely be believe it, as I do everything, mind you. Um, <laughs> the door opens. Lars, looking into the boathouse, the completely dark boathouse, you see Lucretia, who is completely unmanacled, um, opens the door, and the bound and gagged bodies, still alive, of Constance Brock Hollow and Dr. Corbin Magpie are both on the ground in the boathouse. Both of them look up to you, terrified, going, <laughs> Okay, first things first. Yes, it's me. I look like Lars, but they killed me, and I was—I became an instant ghost. Um, <laughs> I, I instant kind of ghost. like try to—I try to move kind of flowily, like swirling around the room. <laughs> um, give me an acrobatics check. <laughs> For how beautiful it is. For how beautiful it is. That's an 18. 18. Um, honestly, it's very convincing. <laughs> Lars may have been a dancer at some point. Like, it's an incredible, it's a full body, it's oh, full it's body. <laughs> Natural <laughs> athlete in general, yeah. Yeah. Ballet kind of figure, like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> incredible. So I, I flow over to the two of them and I go, let everyone have a voice. The living and the dead, and I ungag the two of them so that they can say whatever they're trying to say. Yes, you ungag them, and Constance goes, Lucretia, what, what in the f nine hells is going on here? What the fuck is happening? What's wrong with you? Lucretia says, My dear, darling niece, everything will be explained when your father arrives. He should be here presently. He's just attending to manners in Loam Hall. Uh, Wait. Constance goes, father is dead, Aunt Lucretia, he's dead. And she says, that's only what you think. The body in the study was a decoy. You shouldn't necessarily believe everything. <laughs> um, uh, then I say, I say, she's exactly right. Haven't you put it together yet? Your father was going to pretend to be killed and then and I turned to Lucretia to fill in the rest of the blanks about this plan. <laughs> yes, yes. Listen, the family's been in a great deal. You're not going to tell any of the, any of the other ghosts, are you? Oh, no. Oh, we already know everything with ghosts. <laughs> I'm afraid to be the bearer of bad news to both of you um, as a ghost. Yeah, it's kind of my responsibility, but... <sighs> Your father did do that. He did decide to go against the plan, and for that, he paid his life. He, Squire Badger, is dead. Uh, the body that they found in the house is his actual body. It is no decoy. We found the decoy unused. Um, your father, your brother, he is dead. Um, um, Lucretia looks up, her eyes fill up with tears, and for the first time in her life, she goes, I don't believe you. 
Do oh. you have any other information? We think that maybe Cotton Bottom was dressed as a snail, an armadillo, a, a, a turtle, probably not that one. <laughs> a bit of a disguise. Was anyone acting different than you are used to seeing them? Um, you see, I'm French. You see, she shakes her, she shakes <laughs> her head and says, uh, she... Oh, uh, uh, the cops, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the cops are bad. So, you know, very well. they are Cotton well, Bottom's men. I am a, uh, I'm a very modern, spirited, progressive woman, and I'm also six foot eight. So let's just break their <laughs> fucking skulls. We'll, I'll just, I will straight up uh, just drop kick one of these cops wow. um, uh, yeah. right wow. in the fucking taint, and we'll just have an end to it. Um, uh, let's go! Just, let's fucking go! <laughs> Hell you yeah. know that there is one century of these crooked constables posted at yes. the kitchen wing. Um, uh, I'm do kill you him. do? <laughs> I'm gonna um, just absolutely murder him. Um, this dude, this dude is is sitting here waiting for the elevator. He's going, huh, anyone? Come on! Is someone? The elevator's coming back up. Um, and sees an empty elevator. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> pull up into the kitchen wing um, with a shovel uh, propped against the up button uh, so that the elevator keeps moving up to stop at the kitchen floor. You see, he looks out and says, um, ghosts? Uh, um, Gangy, uh, uh, where are you hiding, like, I'm, in or around the elevator? I'm on the, so, weaselly around the top of it. Like a Matilda, <laughs> like Matilda, like a... Yes! <laughs> um, so, completely... Creepy grave digger Matilda. <laughs> Gangy, Gangy is actually eight years old. Yes, mm. I should have um, mentioned that. <laughs> um, incredible. Gangy, you are completely flushed to the ceiling. This guy looks at your shovel right underneath you where you can grab it that is pushed up against the button to keep, get the elevator here. And goes, go, 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 He pauses. He opens the door to look inside, and that is when you drop down, grab the shovel, just loom over him, clang across the face. Boom! Yeah. He stumbles backwards. If he has one hit point left. He's gonna take a swing at you. Um, hold on one second. Six, which is what he rolled on the die, plus three is nine. He swings wildly with the club and misses. You can attack again. Team to hit. Incredible. Uh, uh, Gangy Green, this guy, bloody face, blood running his eyes, swings wildly with his billy club, stumbles back. You know, these guys aren't real uh, police, but you've scrapped with police plenty of times before in your long <laughs> criminal career. Uh, and seeing this dude stumble back, blood in his eyes, you l come looming out of the elevator as you hear uh, this guy's cries for help drowned out by the successive gasps and oratory of Buckster out in the entrance <laughs> wing. Um, uh, gangy. Yes. Uh, any, any amount of damage would finish this person off. Describe to me what Gangy does in the hallway okay. of the kitchen wing to this constable. Um, I think Gangy, well, <laughs> the shovel would be easy, you know, <gasps> easy. But I think Gangy is using this time, he's, seen uh, Mosley get abused by people, mm -hmm. and he's mm -hmm. fucking pissed. So I think mm -hmm. he uses his hands and he puts his thumbs over the guy's eyes and he squeezes until <laughs> it goes through his eyes, through his skull, through his brain. That is so he... vile. I just <laughs> picture you very, I picture you very yes. calmly setting your Shovel down. <laughs> yeah. <just> like... <laughs> uh, incredible. Uh, you see this guy goes, ah! and your thumbs push through into the soft brain behind the eyes. Yes. One down, uh, and there's still a Mrs. Mosley to save. Um, uh, uh, incredible. Um, uh, you 
take off. Um, so, Vicar, <laughs> you are so like, cute. like, dude, you had your Mission Impossible moment. You snuck up the staircase, <laughs> and you're, there's part of you that's like, dude, what if I was like a country vicar that solved crimes? Like, that's some real BBC shit. Like, that could be my whole fucking deal. Like, mm -hmm. um, and you're like, you're so, you're fucking so boss right now. You're outside the thing, <laughs> listening, and uh, and I think you just feel a hand go around your mouth <laughs> as Gangy's head is like right next to your ear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just brains on his fingers in your mouth yeah. now. Yeah, you've got brains and eyeball blood on your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> incredible. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> you know what? It's I should okay. have washed my hands. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you because, come to think of it, I need someone else here. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, incredible. Both of you can communicate secretly out here because the, the the constable inside is sort of you know loudly harassing Mrs. Molesley. Like, I'm this is under a, this... your robes. And then I pop up. Yes, I, you come do, in under my robes, and then, and then I come in. And then I do in. a somersault out. out of it, a somersault out, and then I have my shovel and I kill everybody. Yes, I open up <laughs> my robes. If this robe, isn't and fan you... art, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Real know. badly. <laughs> so oh no! Sorry. And uh, Victor, I, what did you... I have an eight for deception. Oh my god! <laughs> cool. It's the so worst. The, like so Gaggy's the... tail is hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> so the vicar. So the vicar and. <laughs> Gangy, uh -oh. <laughs> like gangy, you get all Our up under it. the vicar's robes. Um, vicar, do you knock on the door or do you just walk in? No, I just, I kick, I kick it, it doesn't open, then I open it. <laughs> so you make a loud noise to alert the constable what's happening, um, and then walk in. So the constable turns around, sees one of the people he's been alerted is working with Sylvester Cross, walk in. You look like a fucking nightmare because you have, you're a double wide vicar. And also, I think Gangy kind of never stops slithering. So you look like your mass has increased by like 200%, and you're just kind of roiling in your robe. Um, and a shovel is sticking out, and I think you probably are wearing Gangy's top hat, which couldn't make it under your robe. Um, so, so, you and uh, you heathens. <laughs> by the power of God, the power that is vested in me by the Lord Jesus Christ and the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You better let, how dare you torture this innocent lamb of a woman all while gyrating. Uh, uh, yeah, you see, uh, Mrs. Molesley looks up at this uh, with her huge Coke bottle glasses, lightning strikes outside, and she goes, it's a ghost! Um, <laughs> you see, uh, 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 and you see the constable turns around and says, ghosts are real, you old bat! And then turns back around to all of you and says, Get off it! You know as well as I do, there's no such thing as God or ghosts. Um, why, that's the very thing I've been battling with this whole time. That's been my whole, that's been my, that's been my whole inner conflict, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Mosley, um, uh, hey, Vicar Ian, Mrs. Molesley, hearing you call this man a bastard, elicits the loudest gasp of the evening. <laughs> Vicar! Um, oh <laughs> of course! Um, you, Vicar, you are certain, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that Mrs. Molesley is telling the truth. Mm. Which means that every time she has reacted in this way tonight, it has been because of an artificial blast of light. Because the camera set it off, too. And the camera set it off. The flash of the camera setting it off. Well, okay, so I think that the big question mark then is what set Miss Mosley off at the time of the murder? Mm -hmm. Because there was a big flash of lightning at that moment. <gasps> but there was no artificial light. Well, maybe um, in that There room. happens to be a rabbit with a camera that has been among us this entire time. Are you? Is it that easy? Uh, Sergeant Vandenchop, you are rushing up the hill. 
There's one clue that was delivered many episodes ago, which was never followed up on. You will recall the fine ground glass underneath uh, the door. Uh, Photography glass. The glass the from a shattered yeah, camera old-timey ball. camera. Yeah. Um, I am going to need all of you to remain quiet as I bring Reka and Grant back in. Cool. No one say nothing about nothing. Yes. Yeah, I guess whatever. <laughs> incredible, oh. incredible, incredible. Uh, <laughs> I swear to God, yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna say anything, but I swear to God, I figured it out a long time ago. <laughs> incredible. I know everyone's looking at me like I'm the biggest piece of shit in the world. Ooh, <laughs> that look on Sam's face. I could eat it up. Um, uh, we cut back to the to the top of the tower, Loam Hall, uh, where we see a exhausted Sylvester Cross, an extremely proficient, filing her thieves' tools back away uh, in her little silver case, Daisy Dumpster, a terrified, injured-looking Lawrence Longfoot, and the emaciated and deeply grateful Connor McCabbage. We could have had this excitement all the time. Why did you run? Daisy takes a moment. She knows this is the one question that's always been the hardest for her to answer. Sylvester, I know this could have been our life because this was our life. Running around, solving mysteries, getting tangled up in each other's business, Stopping the evils of the world. But I was always your right hand. But I... I have no body of my own. I'm Buxter's right hand. I'm your right hand. It's always the great Sylvester Cross solves the mystery. And I... My heart just couldn't take it anymore. That would be the nail in the coffin. At long last, of Fletcher Cottonbottom. Fletcher Cottonbottom is the name you say out loud. Lawrence Longfoot looks confused, turns to look, shrugs, and as his paw exits the window, a little bit of rain melts the makeup on Lawrence Longfoot's hand. The camera around him broken as it was struck with a shovel earlier this night. Fletcher Cottonbottom looks at you, Sylvester, and says, my dear Mr. Cross, at long last we meet again. And he is going to shove you out the window. <laughs> I'm going to take a daisy dump stare. <laughs> Go ahead and please make a constitution check for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I just click constitution plus one? Is that what I'm clicking? Yeah. Oh, it's only plus one? Oh, oh God. <laughs> no, I know. you asked me to do this. For sure. No, no, I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> I understand that I asked, and this is the important thing. And 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 hey, Reka, thanks for your help. I appreciate it. <laughs> You've always got my back, and I really and thank you. Um, uh, oh Daisy rushes to the window, hikes up her dress, and blasts ass over the side. I can see your whole butt. <laughs> It's good. I put a lot of work into these. You know what I mean? I put a lot of work into these and I'm glad. I'm really fucking glad. You know what I mean? 
It's a lot of work, a lot of murder mystery work over here. This is sort of the, I would say this is the climax of the story, right? This is the dramatic moment. Uh, you blast a hot shit out the window. Um, um, blast a hot shit. Um, to, 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 cu to cushion Sylvester's fall. Um, uh, you know, and that's great, and it's good, and this is, and this is good. Um, so, Fletcher, it's Fletcher's turn next. He loses his turn in shock and dismay at this horrible thing that's happened. Oh, no. Daisy, you're alone. <laughs> Hide, oh, hide you're very much not alone, Ms. Shut up, shut up, Fletcher, Fletcher, <laughs> shut up. Can you turn around, Fletcher, just do me a second. Just turn around for one second. I shan't. I'm a nasty villain and I tricked you all. <laughs> you don't see any chance for you to seize your moment of glory and be the one to kill Fletcher oh. Cottonbottom. Okay. And that's when we cut to the bathroom the bathroom where you shit earlier tonight, just like you shit on the balcony moments ago. And in this moment, someone is going to give you an opportunity to take the glory for yourself because a badly injured Sylvester Cross <gasps> runs into the bathroom. And Grant, what does Sylvester do? <clears throat> Sylvester, uh reaching into the hat that uh, he, uh, uh, he was given by Daisy earlier, pulls out a tiny little uh, uh, thief tool, a little, uh, a, a little uh, file, pointed file. And he, with his, with his last ounce of strength, jams it into the electrical system to, to interrupt the grounding on the uh, uh, electri electricity in the house. Uh, incredible. Sylvester, you jam it in there and take three points of damage <gasps> as the lightning jolts through you and you fall back. <laughs> A little bit late, aren't you, Miss Dumpster, to wake me up, Mr. Longfoot. I think that you'll find that I've been here all along moving amongst you soon. They will find many more dead bodies than we planned, but we must have things go according to plan now, mustn't we? And you see opening behind him, the thing that opened earlier tonight when the lightning struck. The lightning rod connected to the mushroom cellar below extends up into the storm cloud. Daisy, you see your opportunity. It is your turn as the lightning rod extends up. Yeah. You have your action left. What would you like to do? I want to fucking push him into that lightning rod so he explodes. Daisy, I, uh, 10 is, is not great. No. Oh. And the other thing that's not great is rolling a natural two on camera in the box of doom. <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> I would like to open your eyes in a comfy, cozy bed. Uh, the walls spattered with blood uh, of your own making as Mrs. Molesley hands you a little cup of tea. Um, you see water dripping in the room through uh, uh, at your feet with a little bucket sort of collecting it on a little tray. Uh, because when you fell from the tower on that nat 20 deck save, you fell through the roof right into Mrs. Mosley's bed. Um, <laughs> can, I, can I address Mrs. Mosley? Yes, you can. I want to say, I think we should take a vacation now. <laughs> um, she smiles and says, Mr. Green, that sounds like it would be a lovely time. I'll need you to describe all of the sights that we're going to go and see. Oh, no. Because <laughs> you're blind. Uh, sure, yeah, you get it. Yes, for sure, absolutely. <laughs> um, and Daisy, you come downstairs and walk into the room, and you meet the eyes of Sylvester Cross as you walk in. I think I, for the first time, I have tears in my eyes. Uh, cause I know what he did for me. I know he gave me a story. 
Um, you both look at each other in that moment and truly see each other. So I think I'm going to approach Gangy, who I imagine is still by Mrs. Mosley, um, mm -hmm. and say, Gangly, I'm a pretty independent pig, um, but having lost my right-hand woman, I'm wondering if I might need a change of pace and, well, if you're in need of employment and uh, Miss Mosley's in need of employment and this house needs financial backing, uh, what do you think? Would you, would you work? Would you all work for me? I think I would, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think Buckster, a little, a little tear uh, wells up in Buckster's <laughs> eyes as, for the first time, he actually feels like he's a part of something uh, bigger than himself. Aww. I'm 55, by the way. <laughs> I know, I'm like, are you older than Buckster? I might be, I might be. <laughs> it don't matter. Um, Dad. Um, Come on, big daddy. Uh, uh, incredible. Um, um, yes. Uh, Army, I, I don't know if you could tell there by that public display of um, inquiry, but uh, mm. I suspected you were a part of this madness because you was limping around. How did you injure yourself? Uh, boss, are you, are you serious? <laughs> I was a fucking wheel, man. <laughs> I was a fucking right, wheel. Right, 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 right. You did tell me that a lot of times. I told you told you that you were in the car when I was going down, that, when I was going down the road. Yeah. Now that I you mention it, I can distinctly remember the thumping uh, beneath the car. Yeah, I get treated like shit, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I want a life. And I want a life with you. Lady Lucretia, I've seen a ghost. <gasps> um, she says, yes, I've seen several. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say it wasn't my brother? He just recently died. <laughs> 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 no, it, no, it's 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 my dear departed Daisy. Um, I'm being, I was being cute, uh, Daisy. <laughs> and Celeste reaches into his coat pocket and he pulls out two gold bands. <gasps> that whole person. Oh. I've been all around the world. But I've never been home when I wasn't with you. I accept. Um, you see, uh, the Lady Lucre, uh, Lord McRae, who's got like got one hand already kind of up the sh up Lars's shirt and just kind of massaging their back, goes, "Hey, what are we waiting for, Father?" and points over at Ian. <laughs> <laughs> yes, with all my closest friends. <laughs> you don't have By any the friends. Power. I'm still <laughs> covered in your shit. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> talk about a shocking ending. <laughs> <laughs> and with a shocking ending, lightning strikes. And that is all for Mice and Murder. Woo! <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you next time. Farewell, oh. mystery soul.